what Rx Advance and Centene are doing is bringing in a disruptive uh, smart process automation technology platform which is able to significantly change the entire cost curve for the pharmaceutical products going through the entire uh, continuum of care. Uh, it's very, very different than the many M&A deals that you've seen over the last number of months between health plans and PBMs, which are largely about eliminating costs in a traditional way of managing workflow. PBMs are still running on technology that was created when they were a new industry almost uh, 35 years ago. That's back in the mainframe green screen era. Everything was hardwired. Since then, they've had to add you know, a lot of bolted on technologies. And the result is that when you are processing hundreds of millions of claims in your workflow for a reimbursement, each one different and complex uh, because of the special interest rules, the reality is that you can't take enough costs out of it to fundamentally change the cost parameters of the PBM market. And so what Rx Advance built is the first cloud platform that literally goes in and hands off to technology things that have been done with thousands of people. So for example, Express Scripts, 36,000 employees in Express Scripts. By the time we get to about $20 billion of revenue, which we think will be in the early 2020s, uh, we'll only need a couple of thousand people. The reason is we have a cloud platform that's incredibly efficient with smart process automation. Amazon has uh, set a role model that the future belongs to uh, those who see the possibilities before they become obvious to everybody. And Amazon has done that in industry after industry, and they'll continue to do that. The reality is that in healthcare, it's more than really cool technology. It's about deep, granular understanding of the complexity of an industry that is so impacted by special interests. No industry spends as much money on lobbying as the healthcare and pharmaceutical industry, about $270 million a year. So yes, Amazon is fully technically capable to do many things, and they may well come into healthcare, but the reality is it's going to take several years, uh, and maybe more than that, to learn how to do the things that are unique to the uh, <clears throat> rules of healthcare. It's a regulated industry. It's highly complex. And uh, I suspect that if Amazon comes in, they may, way, may, uh, may well want to partner with uh, companies that have you know, already laid the foundations for how to do these things using cloud computing. Could we work with uh, Amazon Berkshire and, and JP Morgan? Uh, I think we could bring a, a lot to the kind of issues that they're trying to solve. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.